chronic pain, the inner demon, back with another one. Now folks, this is history, history. And I tell you, this was coming eventually, but now it's to the forefront. Folks, the US government approved chicken made from cultivated cells grows in the lab to serve to the nation for the first time. So for the first time, you're gonna see cultivated chicken from cells in the labs selling in restaurants nearby. For the first time, the United States regulators on Wednesday approve of chicken made from animal cells, allowing two California companies to offer lab-grown meat to the nation's restaurants and eventually supermarket shelves. The Agriculture Department gave the green light to upside food and goods meat firms in regards to this lab meat. They call it cultivated meat, made from all type of different experiment in the lab, put together, and they're gonna call it chicken and serve it to you and I. So the US first lab chicken meat is coming forth to a table near you, this is coming out of the San Diego Union, folks. The San Diego Union Tribune. So this is facts. And this is news flash. Just dropped. Fresh off the press. The United States regulators on Wednesday, today, approve the sale of chicken made from animal cells. They allow two companies to grow lab meat in California to serve to restaurants and eventually come into a shelves near you in your town and my town. Folks, what I don't understand about this, how could the agriculture department gave the green light to such thing? How could they? when this is their bread and butter. But you know what, folks? When you're getting paid under the table, hush money, slush money, this is how things go. So eventually, we're all gonna die before we collect our social security money. Because basically, this boils down to population control with all, all the injections, all the scientific experiments in this chicken. After we eat it, what's going to happen to the human's body in a few years from now when it starts to be decayed inside out? So see what they're doing, folks? This is to shorten our lifespan. Another means of population control. Any means necessary. I can't believe for the first time the United States regulators today approve the sale of fucking lab meat made from animal cells. And you know one thing, folks? They didn't specify what animals. That's another thing. They didn't specify what animals. They just said made from animal cells. So it could be from gators, lizards, snakes, monkeys, you name it, and 5% chicken. 
You figure it out. This is insane. Folks, to the men brain. For real. As of today, for me, no more chicken. I was never a big meat person. I stuck with the fish until I hear something else. But as of today, for me, folks, no more chicken. Once I learned the United States regulators gave the green light for restaurants to sell chicken that's made from animal cells. And after the restaurants consumed it, then it would be on the shelves in the supermarkets near you and I. Now how there, I mean folks, come on now. Without our approval, what the nerves, what the nerves of the US regulators to try to dictate how and what we consume? What the nerve? Folks, be careful, stay aware, because this is crazy. This is insane. Folks, our social security money, a lot of it was spent up in Afghanistan and now comes the rest of it. Where is it? Where is it, folks? Right next to Russia in the Ukraine. Speaking of the Ukraine, Hunter Biden was found guilty yesterday of gun possession for a drug user, which is a federal crime. And Hunter Biden received probation, a slap on the wrist. Just trying to put that out there. Also, the major corruption in the Ukraine that people are talking about right now. Just want to put that out there. But yes, folks, going back to the regulators, what the nerve of the regulators today to approve the sale of chicken made from animal cells. Animal cells. And they didn't specify what animals. This is spooky. Chronic pain, daily demon, like, share, subscribe to the machine. One love. Peace, everybody. And don't forget my cash out, folks. Dollar sign, Raymond Nugent. I thank you in advance. Blessings.